Welcome to part one of the order management series. This is my second order management series. And in this one, we're going to dive deeper into the planning and development phases, and we're going to build a more advanced system. Planning goes unrecognized more often than it should, but it's a very necessary step to ensure a smoother development process. So make sure you check this out. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Zach Stevenson. I'm a business process and no code consultant. If you need help streamlining or automating any of your business processes, you can visit our, our website, interdevsolutions.com, or you can click the link in the description below to book a free consult. Throughout the series, I'm going to be using a number of different tools. To start, we are going to use a flowchart tool to be able to map the process and design the database schema. The tool that we're actually going to build the database and much of the solution in is SmartSuite, smartsuite.com specifically. And there's other tools that we're going to integrate as well as needed, such as make.com for some external automations, NoLoco as well, which is an interface designer and tool that you can use for external users or build internal applications to limit the data that your users or employees are viewing. And there's going to be a few other tools that we touch on. The first thing that we're going to do is dive into a flowchart tool. I am going to use draw.io. It's a free software that you can use to get started. This tool here is draw.io. It's the flowchart tool that we are going to use to design the initial process. The example that we are going to use is a small custom furniture manufacturer. We can imagine some of the processes that they would need to uh, implement to be able to fulfill their needs and processes through their organization and company. The first thing that's helpful is to think through the process and just make some bullet points based off of what you think they may need within their system. Usually this is going to be discussed within your initial discovery call phase as the developer. I would have a call with you as the customer to determine what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And it asks you a whole bunch of questions based on your process. The first thing that I like to do is just make some bullet point notes based off of your needs. The first thing in an order management system is some form of order intake or maybe a quote request, something along those lines. We're going to start with a quote request. A customer will reach out to you and request a quote or maybe some additional information on your offerings. You're going to have to create the quote and then we can send the quote. If they want to proceed with the order after you've quoted them, then we'll have to actually enter the order into the system or change the quote into an order, something along those lines. There's going to be two kind of steps here. If they want to proceed, we're going to have to continue with our ordering and manufacturing process. If they don't want to proceed, well, then it basically stops there. That keeps it really simple in this stage for us. So ordered, enter into the system or change status to order. This is something that we can think about as we start developing the solution. We may want to confirm the order, send confirmation as maybe another step that we want to do. Basically, this is just going to be a really messy list of steps and actions that are going to be required within our process. And then we're going to refine this process a little bit further. Once we've confirmed and sent confirmation to the customer, maybe with some delivery dates or expected completion dates, something along those lines. Another thing that we will need to do is check the inventory to see what we have in stock, what we need to order and what we need to make. If raw materials are in stock, we can continue the process. If there's some materials that are missing materials out of stock, then order raw materials. This is a split within our process here. So there's going to be two different routes that we'll have to go to continue on within our process. If all items or materials, materials in stock, sign tasks to your employees or however you want to manage this side of things. I imagine you have a small shop in the back with some employees and maybe one specific order will go to an employee. Maybe one specific part will go to an employee and it depends on your specific company. But in this case, we'll just for now note it as material and stock will assign tasks. Then complete the order, notify customer of completion and schedule delivery or pickup. Something else that we will need to do here, we'll have to create and send an invoice, whether that's on pickup, before pickup, 
Again, it's something that you'll have to decide on how you want to operate within your organization. This stage will create an invoice and maybe if we wanted to earlier on, we might want to receive some sort of deposit. There could be two potential invoices for this particular order. Again, that depends on your organization and your needs here. In this case, I'm just going to create one invoice at the end of the process here. This is a really good starting point, a high level understanding of the process within the organization or within your company here. Now we can get a little bit more detailed and start mapping out each step to the process. What I like to do, I'll bring in a couple of objects here. The very first thing that we're going to do is receive a quote request and we'll just change the shape of this initial step. I'm going to copy this and paste it in here. This is the trigger or the initial start point. We're going to receive a quote request. Then we will need to complete quote and within the same step, we can go and send. Then we go down and create the next thing and we'll add a couple of different options here. And then here we can just note proceed with order. And this can be a, a question or a path here. So we'll do yes. That means they've purchased no. And it's just basically going to end here. So we could color that red if we wanted. Yes, we'll make that green. If yes, then we are going to continue on to an additional step. Let's look at our list here that we created. If ordered, enter into the system or change status to order. In this case, what we're going to do is everything is going to exist just as a sales order within our system and our schema. So basically all we need to do at this point is change status to ordered and maybe you might have to receive some additional information depending again on what you received on the initial quote or what you require to be able to complete and process the entire order now we've changed the status to ordered we can assign after we've changed the status to ordered there's going to be another decision that we're going to have to make or at least a step that we're going to have to take here we're going to have to check for inventory the next step can be check inventory, add another yes, and we'll just add a in stock, yes or no. If there's not in stock, we'll need to add a side task here and we can just do order more material. And then once it's been ordered and received, we can continue with the process. Once the material is received, we can go make sure that we have enough within the inventory now or enough material to build the inventory and we can continue from there. If yes, let's check our notes here. Once it's been received, then we can assign the tasks. The next step we'll add down here is assign tasks, which basically all that's going to mean is we're going to assign the order or a specific part within the order to a specific employee, maybe, or to a specific machine, something along those lines. Once we have assigned the tasks and parts or item is complete, once the order is complete, we can notify a customer. We'll notify customer for pickup. We won't worry about the actual delivery process in this system. We'll just assume that the customer is picking up the order. Also at the step, once we have notified the customer, we can submit or create the invoice from this as well. We can go in here and we'll just do create invoice. And our invoicing system or our accounting system that we're going to use as a demo I'm going to use QuickBooks online. It seems to be one of the most common tools, but again, this same process is going to work for any of the online accounting or invoicing software that are out there. We can certainly get more detailed with our process map. This is going to be a really good starting point for us. You can see that we've mapped out the entire process, added in some of our logic and decisions that we have to make throughout the process. We can get more specific and detailed and try to think through everything, but for the sake of this tutorial and so that we can get into the actual development of the solution and building of the schema, we're going to leave it at this for now. It's going to give us at least an idea of the process and steps that you should take before building your own solution or system, or even if you're going to be looking externally to a potential consultant or partner to be able to develop this type of system and tool for you. This is a really good process to go through on your own so that you have something to come to the table with 
once a year requesting quotes from various consultants. It's just a really good process so that you can both understand a little bit more of your needs for your system. That concludes part one of the order management series and developing a process map to better understand the needs for our system. Part two, we're going to dive into building the actual database schema. Again, we're going to use this draw.io and some of the table functionality that is able to be built within it so that we can plan and map our database schema or our solution schema. And then from there, we will be able to develop that and build that out within SmartSuite. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get notified of part two for this series.